G'day guys and welcome to another episode of Service My Ride, the first one for 2020. It's going to be a trip video, not a service video. And we're going to shoot over to the island behind me, which is Fraser Island. The last time I was here was three years ago in 2017. We came up. We're going to try it again in 2020, but the weather isn't on our side. We're down at Inskip at the moment. The ferry's having trouble getting in because it's washed away all the beach on high tide. So we might be camped up for a little bit, but hopefully we can get on that barge and get straight over to Fraser. So it's been about an hour and a half up to high tide and there is some beach for the ferry to come in and land. We've decided to air down to about 16 psi before we make our way across the sand and jump onto the barge. Now through here is normally quite hot and it's quite soft uh, and you will need four wheel drive to get through here. But with all the rain that's been here, the sand is really firm. So we got across here in only two wheel drive. So once we're on the barge, it's about a 10 minute trip across to the south side of the island where we need to make our way north up to Cathedral Beach. That's going to be our base for the week. It's quite central on the island and we can get to most places quite easy from there. And it isn't long before the heavens opened and we got an absolute downpour making visibility really hard to see anywhere up the beach with the washouts. We've decided to take a detour into Yerong, where we pulled over for about 15 minutes to half an hour. We had a hot coffee, waited for the storm to pass and continued on our way up the beach until we reached cathedrals. Hey buddy, we made it. Yeah. So after about a four hour drive up the east coast of Fraser Island, we finally made it. That rain was terrible, wasn't it? Yeah. The visibility was literally about 10 foot in front of us. We couldn't see right down the south end. But Basically, once we got up past Yurong, uh, yeah. uh, we could actually get up to about 40, 50 k's an hour and it wasn't too bad, was it? No. The washouts well, weren't too bad. Once we got past Lee Creek, it was all right. LR Creek. Yeah. Once we got past Ally Creek and the Mahino, it was smooth sail and we did about 80 k's I reckon Which all the way up here and we covered some ground pretty quick, didn't we? Yeah. It was good. Anyway, we've just got to our cabin, we're going to unpack the car and once we've unpacked we might have a little something to eat, maybe. Might have a little something to eat and then we might go for another quick drive down the beach to cap off our first day on Fraser. So we're off hitting some tracks today. It's better weather than what it was yesterday. So first up, we're gonna go down and see the Mahino wreck. And then we're gonna cruise on down to um, Lake Mackenzie. 
And then after spending a couple of hours at Lake Mackenzie, we're going to shoot off and come back up to Airlie Creek. But it's much better weather today. The sun is out. It's actually quite hot. So let's get down and check out this Mahino wreck. It's a good idea to get yourself a tide chart knowing when the tides are will help your travels out around the island. We've got down here to Ello Creek and it is on high tide. There is a bit of a washout which we could get through. Quite a few cars have made it but we've decided to set up and make the day down here at Ello Creek. We've met up with a couple of guys today from Instagram. Check out his page, I'll leave a link down below, and it's Josh from Hectic 4x4. He's gonna be tagging along with us up to uh, the Cape, and we might be meeting up with a couple of other guys a bit later on, but we'll see how we go. But first, let's go over, and we'll meet Josh and his lovely partner, Fiona. Josh, how you going, mate? Hey, man. Nice to finally meet you. Instagram, Hectic 4x4. Check him out. Yes, definitely. <laughs> We're going to go for a cruise today up north of Fraser. We're going to go through Champagne Pools. We're going to head via um, Nagala Rocks. Yeah. And then head up to Sandy Cape and check out the lighthouse. Josh, first time on Fraser. Yes, yeah, my first time here on Fraser. We haven't done much forward driving before, so... Um, I've done a lot of research on how to do it and all that, and it should be pretty good. I got this bloke to show me the tricks. <laughs> we can get bogged together. Yeah, <laughs> pull each other out and all that. So it should be mad fun, and yeah, we'll learn a lot of good, um, good tips and tricks. Of, awesome. Of this bike. <laughs> so what are we running? What type of uh, yeah. Triton have we got? So I've got a ML 2006 model, uh, V6 engine, 4x4. Um, it goes all right. It goes pretty good. Um, I've had it for about a year now, been about a year, uh, done a bit of work to it. As you'll see on my YouTube channel, we do a bit of work ourselves and we get it on camera. Um, yeah, she runs pretty good. Uh, just fixed an uh, overheating issue we had before we came on uh, Fraser, on Rainbow Beach and yeah, started overheating. So it turned out it was the um, hub fan clutch or something like that. One, yeah. yeah, so got that sorted out, but yeah. An easy fix anyway. Yeah, easy fix. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. Um, and suspension wise, you're just running the, stock suspension? Yeah, stock suspension. I've got the, um, hey buddy. <laughs> I've got the uh, a two inch uh, spacer lift up the front and uh, extended shackles at the back, which um, not ideal. Not ideal. So I'm going to go with the full crimp soon. Yep. Put in ourselves and all that. Nice. So that should help a lot more. Yeah, my, my leaf springs are no good. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, well we'll have a quick look over the car and then we might uh, make some tracks and head up the beach. Sweet, sweet. Sounds good. Alrighty.
So we're up here at Indian Head at the moment. That's where the beach stops because of the, uh, the rocks there. So now we need to go on the inland track. Now the inland track is quite soft. There hasn't been as much rain up here. It's quite dry, it's been windy, so the top is going to be really soft and we might sink quite a bit. Now I'm running 16 PSI in my car. Josh is running 20. He's going to drop it down to 16 and hopefully we can get through without any troubles. If we do, we can always go even lower before we start resorting to a different method. But we'll see how we go with 16 PSI. Alright, let's do it. And I may have spoken too soon. New Indian Head is a nice little track to get through, some soft sand, and it's quite fun to get through into full drive. But little did we know for one of us that this would be the end of the day, breaking down and doing some damage to the bottom of the full drive. It gets a bit bouncy, doesn't it? Yeah, I was going way too quick. I might have to check the car. It's really, really rough. We've just come through Indian Head. Um, had to give it the berries to get through there, but Josh has gone a little bit too hard. Uh, it's, it's bounced, and he's actually bent his 3 mil bash plate, and it's bent up and actually cracked the bottom of the radiator tank. So now he's actually leaking coolant. Um, so this could be the end of the line for Josh coming up to the Cape with us. But we'll see how we go. I, I doubt we're going to be able to fix it. Um, he only had radiator or, or overheating problems the other day when the clutch fan went. He's got that sorted out. And now he's, now he's uh, cracked his radiator tank. So could be the end of the day for him. That's how easy it can happen. Just going over a bump and it's, and it's cracked the radiator. We're not that far from Champagne Pools, you can see it just up there on the point. It is high tide, so we might just stop here anyway, have a bit of lunch, um, see if we can get Josh's car sorted out. Uh, whether he gets a tow truck or a mechanic, I'm not too sure, but I think we'll stay with him and we'll see what happens and we'll make a call a bit later on. So, let's, uh, let's have some lunch. We may have got Josh out of trouble. We've put, we've bent the, uh, the alloy on the radiator back around the tank, pinched it back together, we've put a little bit of uh, radiator putty in there, hopefully this will keep us going. So we've got to wait about 10, maybe 15 minutes for it to go hard, we'll put some water in it, see if it holds. Come on through mate, all good. Just watch that little step there, don't hit him too hard. Slow and steady, wings are right. Well, we're about to go through now. I'm heading up a bit. I might need to check the court if we put enough in. Alright, do you want to check it here? There's at least toilets and some water here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've, uh, we've just left Josh um, back near Champagne Pools. Uh, he's still having some radiator issues, so he's going to try and sort it out down there. Um, they're camping down there anyway, so it's not too bad. Uh, we asked them if they wanted to come up uh, with us anyway. I think they want to stick with their car and try and get it sorted. So we're going to power on. We're going to try and get up through 
Magala Rocks and continue going up to the Cape. Uh, and on our way back, uh, we'll stop in and see how Josh is going uh, on our way back home. So round two of Nagala Rocks. First time three years ago we got stuck here. This is gonna be a, another challenge for us to try and get through here. I'm really looking forward to this. This is gonna be quite fun. Now, we are on our own. Josh obviously isn't with us. Um, we might have another car meeting us here within the half an hour or so. Uh, but if not, we're gonna give it a crack. We're gonna see if we can get through here. This is pretty cool though. Let's, uh, let's check out Nagala Rocks. We'll try and get around there. Up there, that's where everyone is getting stuck. Super soft sand. As you can see, there's no one around at the moment. We're just going to sit back before we start this. We're going to have a quick bite to eat. We'll wait about half an hour or so, and uh, we'll give it a crack. Even if we do get stuck, we've got a couple of little things. We've got our max tracks. We've got a couple of things to try and get us out of here. It is super soft. This is going to be a big challenge to see if we can get through here. I'm really looking forward to it. I don't want to be defeated again on Fraser. I want to get this done. I want to tick off Nagala Rocks. I want to get to Sandy Cape so that I can tick off everything on the list for Fraser Island. So I've lowered the tyre pressures from 16 down to 10 PSI. So hopefully we should get a little bit more footprint, but we have lost a very small amount of clearance. All right. Let's go. Let's get into Nagala. So we've just made it past the point, we've just turned around the corner at the top of the island and it's just a short drive now down to the lighthouse but we just pulled over here, it looks absolutely amazing so we thought we'd just get out, have a bit of a look around, just wet the feet and uh, before we get down to the lighthouse. I'm so glad we took round two on Fraser on the Gala Rocks. My heart was pumping getting through there but we got through there 
even north Nagala Rocks was a little bit tricky, uh, but that was awesome. I'm so glad we made it. But anyway, let's keep going down to the lighthouse. So first up today, we're gonna to come down to Lake Aloom where they call it the home of the turtles. Probably about a 40 minute drive from the beach down to where the lake is. And then pretty cruisy little walk from the car park down to the lake. Take it down here and we'll see these cool little We're just south of Yidney Rocks, I think it's called. And we've come across a couple of uh, scenic flights uh, that take off from the beach. So we're gonna jump in one, go for a 15 minute flight around the island, and let's have a look at Fraser Island from the air. This should be pretty sweet. Let's check this out. Unable or prefer not to perform these 
functions, just let us know and we'll find you another seat. How's our luck buddy? We get to Lake Mackenzie and it's absolutely bucketing down. What do you want to do? You want to make a run for it or you want to sit and wait five minutes? Make a run? You would say that wouldn't you? What's that? What's that to your left? Now. What's that to your left? Now, if you've been wondering what happened with Josh, uh, we couldn't get in contact with him the other night. The reception was really poor, but he ended up getting his car going again. It turned out to be some air in the radiator, causing it to overheat. So Josh did end up making the lighthouse and checking out all the top of the island. And we've caught back up down here near Ello Creek to go for a quick swim. <laughs> Video. Your son's climbing a tree. Yeah. Or it's Josh, oh, sorry. I thought it was just I thought it was Bailey then. been our trip to Fraser Island. I hope you guys have enjoyed it as much as we have. 
I've absolutely loved being up here. We've actually spent the week. It's been fantastic getting up to the Cape, uh, catching up with Josh from Hectic 4x4 and some other great mates we've made along the way. So to everyone that we met along the way, thank you very much for making our journey. Absolutely fantastic. We've loved it. It's uh, about five o'clock in the afternoon at the moment. We're going to head back up into cathedrals. We're going to pack up. We're leaving on the first barge out in the morning at six. So we need to leave here at 4.30 in the morning so we can get down there and continue our trip back to Sydney, which is about a 12 hour drive. So thanks for joining us on this trip to Fraser Island. I hope you enjoy it and hopefully one day you guys can get up here as well. This place is magnificent. You will love it if you haven't been here. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.